I want you to forget about everything that you think you know about WordPress. See, here's the thing. WordPress comes with a few post types like posts, pages, attachments, revisions, but sometimes your content doesn't neatly fit into these categories. For example, let's just say that you run a recipe blog. Instead of treating every recipe as a standard blog post, you could create a custom post type specifically for recipes, making it much easier to organize and display them on your site. So when does it make sense to create a custom post type? Well, if your site has a specific kind of content that doesn't fit the mold of a regular post or page, that is typically a sign that it's time for you to consider custom post types. And let me just run through some examples. Let's just say that you run a recipe blog and you want to be able to display your recipes in a much more organized and clean way. Well, custom post types is gonna help you do just that. Or perhaps you run a movie blog and you want your posts to follow a specific structure with star ratings and reviews. Real estate listings is a popular one where each property can be a custom post type. The key is to really think about how to best organize your content. Custom post types make it easy to manage, display, and even categorize different types of content on your site. But do allow me to clarify the following question. When do you really need them? And what is the difference between, for example, using custom post types and just using the traditional blog post categories to you know, categorize content? Well, categories are used to group similar content within the same post type like blog posts. For example, if you have a food blog, Categories might be things like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and you know, they help organize content that's all fundamentally the same, in this case blog posts, but helps users find these blog posts related by topic. Custom post types are used when you have different types of content that have unique purposes or you know, that need to be displayed differently. For example, a recipe is different from a product review or you know, a portfolio project is different from a blog post. And something common that you'll find yourself doing when using custom post types is also using the advanced custom fields plugin to expand the capabilities of your new custom post types. Going back to the real estate website, for example, you know, you'll find yourself creating a new type of custom post type called listings. And inside those types of posts, you'll have advanced custom fields that you've also created to personalize these blog posts, such as, you know, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, um, you know, images of your listings and so on. Now let's talk about how to create a custom post type. You can do it in a couple of ways, either through code or with a plugin. If you're comfortable with code, you can register custom post types using PHP in your themes function.php file. But for most of us, using a plugin like, you know, custom post type UI is probably the best way to go. I mean, to be honest, even if you do know how to program, I would probably just install the custom post type UI plugin as it's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches. Once you have installed the plugin, it's as simple as entering the name of your custom post type, setting up the labels and choosing what kind of features you want it to have, like support for custom fields, categories, or even thumbnails. You know, let's just go ahead and create a new custom post type for our recipe blog using Thrive Architect, which I think you're going to love. And in case you're new here, Thrive Architect is the no-code page builder of choice that I've been using on WordPress for the past decade now. We're gonna use it to design our blog posts after we've created our custom post type using the cost, custom post type plugin. Uh, you know, this is all gonna make sense in a second. Alrighty, folks, we're in the back end of my WordPress website. And under plugins, if you head over to add new plugin, try looking for advanced custom fields. If you want to take your custom post types um, up a notch, all right? Try looking for this plugin and uh, install it and activate it on your site. And then of course, you're also going to need the ad, uh, custom, custom post types plugin. This is the custom post type UI plugin that you can just download and activate on your site. Once you've done that, let's jump over into the uh, custom post, uh, post type UI uh, plugin and create a new type of custom post. We're gonna call this recipe. Um, the plural label is going to be recipes. And of course the singular label is just gonna be recipe, okay? Um, we're gonna create a new type of custom post type. Perfect. So now we've created our new custom post type. And as you can see, there is a new pin here um, in our WordPress toolbar. 
And if we hover over it, we're gonna see two new options. It says all recipes and add new recipe. And this is very similar to what the default posts looks like, right? We have posts, all posts, or add a new post. Because again, recipes are just their unique kind of blog posts. We're gonna do something. We're gonna edit the custom post type that we've just created. And I rarely touch the additional labels setting. Um, this, you know, allows you to configure, for example, where do you want the uh, custom post type to show up in the WordPress toolbar? Um, you can change the numbering there so that it shows up either uh, under posts or under appearance or under plugins. Uh, you can do this. I, you know, like I said, I rarely touch any of this. This is just uh, miscellaneous information that if you want to get picky about, then you can, you can do so, but I rarely do. Under settings, I do want you to make sure that there are some things that uh, you've made sure are turned on, okay? So public, you can just leave this as true. This can just be true. Show you, I can just be true, true. Uh, you can leave this, all these, all this. And make sure that this page has archive. This option actually is set to true, okay? And I'm going to explain what the difference is between setting this to true and false, okay? One of the particularly uh, one of the particularities of custom post types is that they can have their own archive pages, which makes a huge difference in terms of SEO, because WordPress, as you probably know, and uh, blog post categories within WordPress get their own unique archive pages, which allow you to display all of the blog posts about a given category on a given page, and you can do the same thing with custom post types. This means that if we set this to true, our custom post type called recipes is going to receive is its very own unique archive page. And this is great because that means that we could technically speak and go to lewistony.com forward slash recipes and Google is going to be alerted about the fact that, hey, there's a new type of blog post called recipes um, on Tony's website and um, there's a bunch of different blog posts being created under that label. And this is great for SEO. So make sure that you create your archive page. If you have any interest in making sure that Google understands that, hey, your recipes are a type of blog post within your uh, website. Make sure that exclude from search is uh, set to false. And pretty sure we can just come here and hit save. All right, I think we can now jump over into our recipes. And if I create a new type of recipe, you're gonna see that nothing changes right now, right? I mean, this looks very much just like a regular blog post where we can just add in a new title, for example, um, I don't know, Colombian, uh, do, 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 carnitas, empanada. And I could save this, I could fire up Thrive Architect, edit the design of this custom post type, and so forth and so on. But you know, the, the whole point is, if you take a look at the URL here, and uh, you know, all of this is being powered by only one SEO, of course, my, my SEO plugin of choice, you'll see how now the URL paramailing structure has the word recipe, which makes a huge difference in terms of SERP. Right? I mean, I'm letting Google know that this is a post of type recipe. But this is still a little bit too simple, right? I mean, this just allows us to create a new type of custom post type. What if we jump over back into our WordPress dashboard and jump over into advanced custom fields? Let's create a new type of field group. And I am going to call this um, ingredients, ingredients. And this is going to be of type of text area which means that I'm simply going to have the option of typing in some text for every blog post that makes use of this custom field. And the default value for this text is just going to be um, insert your ingredients. Field label can just be ingredients. We can do the field name, just be ingredients again. And Let's just hit save changes. Actually, whoa, 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 we need to make sure that we set the location rules. So we're, what we're gonna tell advanced custom fields here is, hey, I want you to um, show this custom field when post type is equal to recipe. Perfect. 
Now we can hit save. And now if we jump over into our recipes and we edit the Colombian carnitas empanada recipe that we just created a few minutes ago, towards the bottom you'll find the new custom field that we've just created using advanced custom fields. And we're gonna insert our ingredients here. So let's just say that we need uh, carnitas. I actually have no idea of how to make empanadas. Uh, let's just say that you need, I'm gonna make it up again. We're gonna do tomato, we're gonna do um, onion, we're gonna do some bread, and you need some salt, maybe. Okay, let's just assume that you can make uh, uh, Colombian empanadas with these ingredients. Let's hit save and let's fire this up with Thrive Architect. Alrighty, so my recipe custom post type um, is using a very minimal template right now that I've created using Thrive Theme Builder, okay? But what I want to show you is how easy it is to customize this with Thrive Architect. First of all, of course, you can use Thrive Architect's widgets that you can use on any other type of blog post and just uh, you know, build up your blog post. For example, here we have a section with some content and inside this content, we're gonna immediately drop off the ingredients that people may need. So here we're gonna do ingredients and this is gonna be um, maybe like an H3. We're gonna drag and drop another text element underneath it and here, check this out. We're going to insert dynamic text, which is going to be from a custom field, which is going to be Ingredients. Let's hit insert and voila. This is a very simple way of inserting um, dynamic content using custom fields into our um, custom post type. Now imagine doing this with, for example, actually I think we have this up on our channel somewhere. I'll link it up uh, on the on the video where you can actually see me do this for a real estate website where we can have um, you know templates getting populated with again, um, you know, dynamic content such as number of bed bedrooms, number of bathrooms, uh, how big the property listing is, like in, in squared meters, how, uh, you know, the images that we want to include for that particular listing and so on. So hopefully you can kind of see how far you can take this. We've created a new type of, not blog post, but a new type of recipe inside our website. And we are populating it in with dynamic content using advanced custom fields. Custom post types are really incredibly powerful and open up a whole new world of possibilities for how you structure and manage content on your WordPress website. Whether you're running a blog, a, a business website, or something more niche, custom post types can help you stay organized and present your content in a way that makes sense. They do really take your standard WordPress blogging experience and elevate it up a notch by being able to customize it to fit your own needs. All right, be sure to give me a big thumbs up on this video if you found it useful and, you know, subscribe for more WordPress sweet stuff. And, uh, oh, there is a link in the description box that you can click on if you want to learn more about Thrive Architect. All right, I appreciate your time and I'll catch you soon. Thanks again. Bye.